I expand the purchase agreement header in order to demonstrate the differences between choosing these commitment levels. First, I select the product quantity commitment. Then I click add line. From the list of available products, I choose IPS. As you can tell, the quantity is available. I set the quantity to be 10. You also see the discount percent and unit price are available. I specify a discount value and the unit price. As you notice, the expiration date has been defaulted from the header view. Also note that the value of the net amount has automatically been calculated. Then I change the commitment level to be the product value commitment. Then I click add line. I choose the same product. As you notice, the quantity, the unit, and the unit price fields are not available. The only field that I can set the value for is the net amount and a possible discount percent. Then I choose the commitment level to be the product category value commitment. Then I click add line. As you see cosmetically, since the commitment level is set to product category value commitment, it assumes the first and the third line requires the procurement category. There is nothing wrong with this. It's just a cosmetic line that assumes that based on this new level of commitment, you may need to have a procurement category value. As you can tell, in the middle line, you have no capability in order to choose an item number. You can only pick and choose a category. In this demonstration, I pick and choose office machines. The quantity, unit, and the unit price cannot be chosen. Similar to the product value commitment, the only field that is available is the net amount and the discount percent. As soon as I save this and click on the first and the third line, the red lines will disappear. So as I mentioned, there is no problem with the first and the third line. Then I switch to the last commitment, which is going to be the value commitment. I add line and as you see, you won't be able to choose an item nor a category. The root of the procurement category hierarchy will be automatically selected. The only fields that are available would be the net amount and the possible discount percent. By this demonstration, you see the differences between these level of commitments. I now select all of these lines and click remove because as part of my demonstration, I'd like to actually add series of different products that I require to have in order to create my bill of material. 